Uh, so where do I feel the field is going to where the field is going to go in the um, let's say in the short term and in the long term? So in the short term, I think again I'm not an expert in how FDA looks at these things, and nobody can predict what they are going to do. But my hope as a clinician and as a bone marrow transplanter is that some of these um, uh, um, constructs and some of these uh, um, CAR T cell therapy products uh, will achieve regulatory approval and will come to be avail become available to a wider um, uh, group of physicians. Um, uh, not only not because maybe they are the perfect products, because as mentioned, they do have toxicities, but because we need them. Uh, you know, these are desperately needed. Uh, I have myself struggled to find centers where I can refer my patients to to be enrolled in this trial. So these products at, at this time are desperately needed and for those patients. However, in the intermediate to long term, I do believe that because of the toxicities that I mentioned, that there's a need for us to go back to the drawing board and come up with a radical new design of the car concept. Uh, uh, so I'm not talking about just again uh, tinkering with the design. Uh, there is some room for improvement there too and a lot of people including in this uh, meeting are presenting data with that how to make them a little bit safer by tinkering with the original car design. So there's maybe 10 to 20 percent more chance for further improvement in that category. But I think in the long term to make this product safer for wider community use, I think we really need to go back to the drawing board and come up with a radical new design, a radical new platform I'm talking about.